Hello everyone, so today we are going to learn some fun mnemonics on DNA polymerase, the bacterial one, DNA polymerase 1, 2 and 3. So remember that like 1, 2 and 3 are the ranks in an exam. So all the students appearing for an exam, they proofread a grand test or a mock test that they have given. So when you give a grand test, you proofread. That means have you marked answers to all the questions? That is proofreading. So remember that proofreading is done by all your DNA polymerase 1, 2 and 3. Once the test is over and you've realized that these are the mistakes that you have done in the test, if you do the repair of the mistakes that you have done, then you get the top ranks that is 1 and 2. So your repair is done by DNA polymerase 1 and 2. Now when do you get rank 1? When you fill the gaps in the areas where you are lagging based on the mistakes that you have realized, you go back to the weaker topics, you go back to the nodes. So remember that the gaps in the lagging strand it is filled by your DNA polymerase 1 that is filling the gaps where you lag. So just a quick review. So you have your DNA polymerase 1, 2, 3 doing the proofreading. Repair is by 1 and 2. And then we have 1 which fills the gaps in the lagging strand. So the DNA polymerase with proofreading is 1, 2 and 3. Repair is the top 2 rank and the gap in the lagging strand is your rank 1 that is DNA polymerase 1. Now, which is the DNA polymerase, which is the main replication enzyme in the prokaryotes? It synthesizes your both lagging strand and the leading strand, and it has the highest rate of chain elongation. That means it is the most processive. That is your DNA polymerase 3. So remember that a student who just keeps on replicating, that is synthesizing new things, just keeps on reading new things every time without doing the repair, that student will get the lowest rank, that is rank 3. So just keeping on reading new stuff will give you a low rank, that is rank 3. So these are the fun mnemonics on DNA polymerase. I hope you have enjoyed it. Do let me know in the comments which other topics you would like to have mnemonics in the upcoming videos. Thank you.